How do body bags and their cases work? This is the sixth video in my series on how all of the equipment in Payday 2 works. You can check out my previous video about trip mines and shape charges by clicking the button up in the corner. So, moving on to the ghost tree under the shinobi branch, we have body bag cases. You get a single one of these by default and can carry a second one by acing cleaner. Body bag cases are placed and used in the same fashion as doctor or ammo bags, but instead refund body bags to the player. So, in order to know how the equipment works, you'll need to understand how body bags themselves work. Body bags are a utility available to all players. By holding the tab key, you can see how many body bags you currently have. By default, you get a single one and can carry up to two. Getting basic cleaner will spawn you into heists with two body bags and allow you to carry up to three. Body bags are used near exclusively in stealth to dispose of corpses, whether it be a dead civilian or guard. The latter requires that the guard's pager has been answered first. There are exceptions to this, such as the guards on Nightclub or outside on Scarface Mansion who do not have pagers at all. Upon bagging them, you can now carry the corpses around. Body bags will slow you down by 25% of your max movement speed, and halt your ability to sprint. This matches the movement speeds for bags of gold, weapons, and so on. The main reason one would want to bag a body is to hide it, and many stealth heists are built with this in mind. There are alleyways, corners, and generally out-of-the-way places where a body bag can be safely stashed. More often than not, stealth heists will have dumpsters that can be opened up to toss a body bag into, and certain heists will have cliffs or deep water which can be used to permanently dispose of the evidence. If you have the burglar perk deck equipped and leveled up sufficiently, you can bag corpses 20% faster. When combined with Burglar's 10% faster pager answering, those precious moments can make the difference between being detected or remaining unseen. Body bags are the only way to move a guard any reasonable distance after they have become alerted. In certain cases, a suppressed shotgun can be used to launch a guard out of view, where their corpse can remain unbagged and undisturbed. As for civilians, they can instead be zip-tied and led to a safe location. However, this can prove dangerous and time-consuming, as civvies tend to have a bit of trouble following basic paths. So, many players opt to kill the civilian and bag them, getting them out of sight far more quickly and safely. Body bags left out in the open or in a poor hiding spot can be spotted from 19 meters away, just over double the range of Inspire. This is fairly far, however, is preferable to the 25 meters an unbagged, unobscured corpse can be observed from. Not to mention, corpses are detected far more quickly than body bags. A guard that stumbles across a body bag will try to call it in, and civilians will become alerted, run off, and attempt to phone the police. If a heist goes loud, body bags become all but useless. You can no longer dispose of bodies as you'd have no reason to anyways. Any bagged up corpses will remain, but unsurprisingly are worthless if brought to the escape. At the time of this video's release, however, there is a single heist where body bags are not just useful but mandatory in loud. On boiling point, test subjects inside of Aiken's laboratory must be bagged up and brought to the scanner. These body bags don't follow the usual rules. You get an unlimited supply and are only able to bag those test subjects. So, you won't be needing any body bag cases. Speaking of, as I said, with Aced Cleaner, you get two body bag cases, which can be placed like most other equipment. Guards and cameras will be oblivious to body bag cases, but remember, not to body bags themselves. Each body bag case contains three body bags, and it's very easy to tell at a glance how many bags are left to grab. The main reason to bring body bag cases is for stealth heists where you expect things to get messy. Heists with a lot of guards and civilians, such as a bomb dockyard or a lesso heist, are made far easier with an ample supply of body bags. On the other hand, you may find other stealth jobs, such as a bank heist or jewelry store, will will not require body bag cases at all, at least beyond those granted via pre-planning. That's right, body bag cases can also be bought as assets on nearly all stealth heists. However, it requires ownership of aced sixth sense. On stealth heists with the standard asset system, a single body bag case can be purchased. However, on heists with full-blown pre-planning such as Shadow Raid, two body bag cases can be acquired and placed in various locations. All of this means body bag 
bag cases aren't what I'd consider the most useful type of equipment, seeing as ECM jammers are typically a far more versatile stealth utility. Despite this, I frequently bring body bag cases as a secondary by means of the Jack of All Trades skill. I'll talk in length about Jack of All Trades in a later video, however, in the meantime, you could check out my stealth build video to get an idea of a good way to use body bags. To summarize, minimal or even no skill investment is required to get use out of body bags and their cases in stealth. Bagging corpses is a vital tool in your kit, and map knowledge of where to hide them will serve you well. Just be sure you're not sacrificing a far more useful piece of equipment to bring spare body bags that you may not end up even needing. Join me next time when I'll touch on ECM jammers. Thanks for watching, and take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.